Hi students, um, Cynthia Nitch here wanting to cover independent project 4.4-4 or 4 4 in Access Database. In this database um, you have, it's called American River and there's members here and then there's results of the races here. Um, so they are connected. There is a database relationship between two of them. It's the member ID and then the member ID again shows up in the race results. So if I were to double click on members, I can click this plus sign and see how many races she had been in and see what place she got um, while racing and then what age group she was in or he or she is in, right? So that's Geneva, we do Roy, so you guys can see that. Okay, so that is that. Let's just double click on this table here. It just shows everybody's race ID, everybody's member's ID, um, and so forth. So I'm going to just go ahead and click there and click there. Okay, so uh, independent project four is just to show you how to create a form and then how to create a report. So how I do that is they want me to create a form um, on race results. So I just click race results, then I choose create, and they just want me to click form. And because this is highlighted, I can just click on that and create a form on race results. So I'll click form there, and then this is my race results uh, form. So if I right click on this, you'll notice I'm on layout view, which is a lot easier uh, to work with, but you can do design view, which gives you a little bit more flexibility. And that's kind of, there's some advanced features on that. And then the form view would just be like what it would look like um, to your users or to you after you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on it again and choose layout view. So the thing they want us to do is they just kind of want us to format it to make it look nicer. Um, so you'll notice on this form layout design, I have this uh, in my ribbon, I have a thing called property sheet. And this just gives me all the properties of everything if I click on it. So place, doesn't give me many properties there, but I have all these things I can kind of mess with when I click on that. If I click on the whole um, actual form itself, then it'll show me some formatting I can do within that as well. So what they want me to do on the, um, they want me to open the property sheet, did that, and they want me to change the width of the race ID text to be uh, one inch. So this right here, they want me to do uh, one, one inch, which I think is interesting because remember that all the fields in this column change to the new width. Okay, so let me make sure I have that. So change the width of the race ID text box. Oh, they want the text box. That makes more sense, right? So they want this width to be one. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in one here and press enter and then it makes it a lot smaller on all of them, right? Then it wants me to add two rows below the age group. So I'm right here and they want me to add two more rows. So I'm gonna click on a range and I'm gonna click insert a row and then insert a row. So, and they want me to change the height of the bottom row to 0.4. So here's that height of the bottom row and they want me to do that at 2.4. Or I'm sorry, they just went 0.4. So now that's a little bit bigger than the other one. They want me to select the race ID label and change the top property to 0.4. Seven, five. So a lot of this stuff, this is the label and this is the text box. A lot of this stuff is just kind of like having you mess with it. So um, it's really easy. So I won't do all of it, but top property 0.75. And then it's going to have you move this over. So it's going to say then the left is 1.25. You'll see that that brings that over. Okay. So um, the next thing they want me to do is they want me to include a time on this. So what I want to do is go ahead and choose format design, choose date and time, and they want us to choose this one here. And then I click OK and it'll come up in the title bar. Okay. And then they have you move that um, date up and, and around. So we'll kind of skip that. Um, they want to change the wording of the race results. They want to change this title to something else. 
So I can just press delete and then add the title. And the title that they want is um, member raised result. Okay, so that's the title. If I had a logo like stored on my computer somewhere, I could click on it and it would replace this logo here. Um, they want me to add a command button in here to close the form. Command buttons are found in that form layout design and it's this little guy right here. If I click on it once, you'll notice that then it, there's a little square on my cursor and that's, I can kind of move it anywhere I want. So I want it right here and when I'm ready and this is exactly where I want it, I can just click again and then it'll say, well, what kind of you know, command button do you want? And I click form operations and choose close form, click next. I want the text, click next. And then they want you to name it. You have to name, you need to be careful to actually take the time to name your buttons. Cause if you had like 50 buttons and they were all just kind of command 26, command 27, it would get really confusing. So they want this button to be called view form close button those spaces. All right, so then we can click finish and you'll see that there. And if I go into, I don't want to do it just yet, but if I go into like uh, form view, then I can click on that and that button would work. But we'll try that in a second. Okay, so now I'm going to edit the form properties and limit users to edits and deletions. So if I just want people to look at the form and I don't want them to edit it, I can have them edit edit that part of it, right? So I'll just click here and I want to go to data um, and let's see if it's going to go. Sometimes I, what if I clicked off of it? Let me go into form here and choose data. Yeah. And then as soon as I do that, I can do, I can double click on yes and it would make it no, no deletions and no edits. So that's how you would change that. So no one could actually add something to this or they can't delete it or they actually can't edit it. The only thing they can do is look at it. All right, so if I, let's just go ahead and go to uh, form view and I'll show you if I click close form, it'll close it. Um, but they want me to rename it. So what do they want me to rename it to? I'll just keep I'll just keep it as that and I'll just type in form, okay? All right. So if I double click on form, it's there. If I close the form, it closes. Okay. So now the next thing we want to do is create a report. So same thing here. You want to create and then you want to choose report. So let's see what they want us to do. They want us to create a report using the blank report. So I'm going to double click on that. And they want me to add all the fields from the member table. The report should look, on the, look like the figure it shows on the. So I'm just going to double click on the members and add all of them to my report. And then I'll just X out of that. So this is my report um, for all, so for the, for the members table, right? So these are all my members in this report. What they want me to group this report as is by city. So they want to see the members by city. So see this here, it's already um, selected to me for me because it's usually something that you do when you create reports. But if it wasn't, you would click report layout and choose group and sort. And then here it is here. I want to add a group and it asks me what do you want and I could do city. And so in Auburn, you have three in Cameron Park, you have two. I can even sort this as well, you guys. It says add, add a sort, and I can sort by, I guess, last name or member ID. Maybe last name. That wasn't part of the instructions, but I just wanted to show it to you. So, oh, you know what? Yeah, all right. So then modify the layout of the report. So they want me to do select the page layout here, and they want me to change the margins to normal, and they also want me to change to landscape. So they have you like kind of mess with the size of these things, just like we did in forms. Um, but I'll let you get through that. It's kind of just super easy. They want me to title the report. So I can go 
back into a report layout, looks the same as form layout, and I can choose title here. And then I'll kind of wait till it lets me do it. And they want me to title it list, a list of club members. So I would type in list of club members as the title. And then they want me to center it. So I think I would just go to format and choose center there. And then they want me to add pages to the bottom. So I'm going to go back here, click page number, choose bottom. I think they want number of um, pages. And do they want the alignment center? Yeah. And there we go. And we click OK. And then there's a little, um, I'll show you on form report view. You should see that. You know, it didn't go in the middle, but I think it's because of, I, I didn't do any of the sizing. Um, let's just look at it again. Layout view. Page number. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm going to do left just for the fun of because I want to see it. So I'm going to right click on there and say report view. And there it is there. And then I have to delete it there. So anyway, I mean, it probably looked different. I skipped um, from B to uh, H just because I didn't want to, you know, take your time to like add width in there and that's probably what's messing up that center view but that's how you do a report let's see mm -hmm. i'll close it they would want me to save it as list of club members i'll just write report because i like to see what that is and then then I could see on my pane, I can see I have a list of cover art members report, and then I have a form uh, for my racers. So that's how you do chapter 4.4. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.